Okay, you guys. So I'm going to do a video. Um, it's definitely more of me talking than me showing you how to do it um, because I already did it and I didn't think of doing the video beforehand. But I am meal prepping because I really want to eat more protein. Um, I'm not too worried right now about calories or sugar or low carb or anything. I just want to make sure that I'm eating quality food and quality protein. So I went to um, Costco and I got a bunch of different proteins um, and I am doing different marinades to put them into my freezer and my fridge for, um, for the next month or so. Um, I'm super busy. I just had a baby. Um, I'm so hungry because I am breastfeeding. So eating this, um, solid protein will keep me full for longer because right now I feel like I have no restriction at all. So I will just go into what I made. Um, so this one right here, um, is a yogurt and lemon, uh, marinade. Um, it's kind of Mediterranean. I put yogurt, um, like Greek yogurt, whatever kind you want. Um, I use 2%. Um, a little bit of olive oil, but you don't have to use that. Uh, rosemary, thyme, a little bit of cumin, salt and pepper, and lemon juice and lemon zest. And the yogurt marinating the chicken, um, you don't even need the olive oil if you are low fat. Um, it like really makes the chicken tender. So I used... Um, I actually used chicken tenders for both of them because um, it was cheap and um, I'm gonna do shish kebab so I'll do the chicken and then I'll do mushrooms and um, uh, bell pepper red onion zucchini um, yeah and just like layer it in a shish kebab and barbecue it so that's for that. And then over here I did, so actually this and this are together. So this is an Asian marinade. Um, it's ginger, soy sauce, one green onion, um, a little bit of brown sugar. If you don't want to do the sugar, you can use uh, the brown sugar swerve, or you can use a little bit of stevia, but the sugar does kind of make it really nice. Um, especially when you're grilling, the real sugar like caramelizes. So, um, like I said, I'm not like super worried about that right now, but, um, I know, I know sometimes it gets a little tricky with the sugars. Um, uh, what else is in it? Salt, pepper, ginger, brown sugar, soy sauce. Um, oh, sesame oil. So it's like a sesame ginger um, chicken. And then this is flank steak. Um, these are quart size, um, which I didn't think would be big enough, but it's like perfect for like a pound of chicken thighs or chicken tenders. These are chicken thighs. These are chicken th tenders. Um, this is like a pound and a half, I think, of flank steak. Um, I did have to cut it in half to fit it in the bag. Um, but it's like perfect for like three people, two or three people. Um, and it'll save, um, space in my freezer. This is another flank steak. Um, it's barbecue. I did, um, I did, let's see what's in this. Uh, coffee grounds, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, chili powder, all the barbecue kind of spices. Um, and um, yeah, this is a whole flank steak. So, and this is in a gallon size bag. 
Um, but all of these are going to go in the freezer. Um, and then this one is chili, uh, or chili cilantro lime. So it's chili powder, cilantro, lime, garlic. Um, and I did chicken thighs for that one. And then honey mustard. I did, I didn't really realize how much honey you actually use for honey mustard. Um, I've never really been a honey mustard fan, but for some reason I've been really wanting it. Um, so this is pork chops and this is chicken thighs. Um, and then the last one is pesto chicken. Um, it's just pesto and I did add a little bit of olive oil um, to make it kind of thinned out so it can marinate. 